Good morning, afternoon, evening, or whatever time zone you may be in. It's Jess from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're having a look at the MK Sensation Extreme by Gospel Musicians. Um, this is a standalone uh, plugin which provides um, vintage y kind of synth and electronic piano sounds uh, from the earlier contact library um, that they did. And it's based on the classic MKS20 piano module. So we're going to have a look at the features and just the sort of sounds and things it can do, ways you can alter each sound. And yeah, um, so if you're interested in any deals like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And this one is currently on 50% off. So let's dive right in. So here we have the MK Sensation Extreme has a number of different features as you can see right here. Um, if we click up here, we can look at the bank and we can see we have a variety of different sets, gospel stacks, splits, um, analogs and synths. So if we just started with uh, one of the analog synths here. So, can see here that it's made up of five sounds here so if you wanted to just hear what one of them sounded like or you can add in just a couple or of course all of them oops so it gives you the option to edit them individually as well so you can see them changing at the top there um, so yeah, so you can have up to eight sounds here um, to kind of mix them together and make your own kind of sound or simply just turn them off and on however you want. And each kind of sound has its own editing features, including LFO, modulation, filters, amp itself. Um, there's a mixer here so you can change the volume of each sample um, easily as well and pan it. Um, yeah, so if we're having a look at the first one here, you can easily go in and see all the different sorts of sounds that are available. So keyboard based ones, so lots of different MKS sounds, acoustic piano sounds. It's quite a lot of different varieties of things. So if I wanted to just change it to one of these, I could just click there and then there it is. <laughs> Here it is on its own, and then together with the rest of them. So there we go. So it's easy enough to sort of change, and if you want it to be sound number two, you just simply click on the two there, and then again just go in and choose whichever one you want to change it to, and voila. There we go, so now we have all of them together again. Obviously not the sound you're after, but that is kind of an example of different sort of synths you could put together. <laughs> um, they also have sort of splits that are already done. Um, so... It's very heavenly. Um, so that's made up of these three. And I think also another option we can do is go into the split. Now this is really clever because basically it numbers them one to eight. So all of these here correspond to there. And you can literally alter exactly which keys you want to have for each sound. So you could literally have eight, eight sounds worth all mapped out easily for you simply by dragging them to the certain note that you want which is, I think is really efficient for what you want to do, depending on, you know, you want like a bass riff down, down here and maybe you'd want a little bit melody mainly up here. I've never seen that before in a sample library, I thought it was kind of cool. It's very easily mapped out, um, which I thought was a really good benefit. Um, and yeah, so each sound also has its own effects rack, um, numbered obviously one to eight and master global. Um, so yeah, there's also 
reverb over here as well on the master. Um, yeah. So we also have settings up here. Um, yeah, and the live set option if you're going to be using it for live performing, which they do recommend that this is for. So yeah, that's basically most of what there is to it for this. It's got some really nice sounds. Again, so there's also other things uh, like flutes, some sort of quite kind of vintagey sounding kind of uh, synth sounds. <laughs> so you've got digital vox, human vox. Um, I've not actually listened to this one, but I'm interested now. Uh, this one? <laughs> so vintage, I love it. There's like digital ones. I wonder what this one sounds like. I'm intrigued now. Just to see what that split is though. So it's going up to there, so I put it further up so we can listen to it. So yeah, very easy to map that out. So I could easily just have played all the keys and it was actually stuck to the first half, but easily edited. Um, so yeah, that's basically all there is to this. And it's, it's, as you can see, quite easy to navigate between sounds, add sounds, remove sounds. Look, you can just do that if you want to turn it off. Um, so you could literally just turn all of them off and just literally have... Oh, well, if I actually went to the split and see. <laughs> um, we literally just have... Um, this one. So there's just there's just plenty plenty to be able to sort of edit and muck around with. I mean, gospel musicians recommend that this would be perfect for gospel music, R and B, hip hop. I could see it being used in a variety of different genres, um, especially some of the vintage sounds. Like I just keep thinking vintage video game music, and I think some of them are just really quite nice, warm sounds um, that are just great for jamming with, making your own tracks, whatever you want to do with it. Um, which I will just enable now. It's a nice sound that actually, I love that. <laughs> Organs. bird. Come with me on a journey as we go through some more presets. <laughs> I do love a good lead. A mean lead. So yeah, I mean, that would get the idea. The brass as well. I'll, I'll stop soon, I promise. <laughs> Just going through them all now. <sighs> so yeah, you get the idea. There's a lot going on here, um, which is fantastic. Lots of different stuff that you can add in, take away, etc., etc. So yeah, um, if you like what you've seen so far, then feel free to head over to Audio Plugin Deals to purchase this. And I hope you've had fun like I have and enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>